Now, what are we going to do when a child makes f poor choices? Because, you know, it's like, oh, my gosh, this child's just been a mess since they were born. How am I going to encourage that? Again, if you focus on what you want and kind of move that way, you can make the one-inch encouragement there. But what if they made a, just a s poor choice? Now, I don't know about you, but when I make poor choices, I already feel bad about myself. Anybody feel bad when they do it? And somehow or another, when it comes to this, we think, well, I feel bad about doing it, but I'm sure kids are fine. Well, the kids aren't necessarily fine. They know when they've made poor choices, too. Now, they might try to be defensive like us and smile it off. We, all of us do well. Oh, I'm, look at that. I mean, just think about how you cover up a fart. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, some people are like, hey, it was me. <laughs> and some people are like, huh. So, are we going to go have lunch now? I mean, it's just, <laughs> let's ignore it. I mean, and, and it's all an individual thing. But the, the children cover up their poor choices in the same way. Some of them laugh. Some of them go, oh, you know, and we're like, you better take responsibility. And it's like, well, I have some defenses for my, covering my poor choices, but so do children is what I'm saying. So what are we going to do? Let's have Jenny and Mindy, would you come up? And I'm going to just put these two books down. And again, there's Schubert books and Sophie books that help with this. But I'm just going to go put these, put these over here and the flower. So I'm going to have three things on the floor. And I'm going to ask them, actually, I'm going to tell them, I'm giving them a sort of command to go pick up all three things and put them here. Now, what you're actually going to do is pick up two of them. Okay? So here we start. Jenny, Mindy, there's some toys on the floor from when we were playing. Pick up all three of them and bring them right back here and put them in the bin. There you go. There you go. You're doing it. Oops! You almost did it! Look! You almost oh. did it! There you go. You got it. Right here. All right, thank you. <laughs> Have a seat. Thank you for your help. Now, again, I thank them for their help because they could have said no to come up here. Probably it would have been hard to say no, but <laughs> they could have. All right, but did you see what I did? You almost did it. You almost had, you were this close. Line up in the door, making sure everybody has space, and they come in. <laughs> You almost did it. Go back. Let's do it again. You can pull this off. My job's to keep you safe. Your job's to help keep it safe. Go back. Let's give her a go. You got this. You got this. As opposed to, mm-hmm. Who saw the pushing? Did you see the pushing? Is that how we line up? Or when they left one on the floor, is, is that what I asked you to do? Is that what I asked you to do? Do you ever listen I learned this in a workshop. I was clear, I was assertive, and I painted a picture. <laughs> and look at you. You left it on the floor. So we can do this. Other ways of doing I am confident you can think of another way to solve your problem. I am so confident. Boy, ouch, that was hurtful. You can do this. You can figure a helpful way out. I know you. You can do it. Or as simple as this, keep breathing. You can handle this. Think, think, come on. What could you do now that would be helpful? Constantly shifting and moving this way. Remember, the goal line is over there. You're on the one yard line on the other team's side. We've got to get all the way across the field. And just because you lost some ground doesn't mean you're a bad person. It means you've got another play to work it out. Now, part of encouragement, which comes from the power of unity, which says we're all in this together, which has some structures that I've already explained to you, it also says we need rituals, some rituals, so that we can create, again, this sense of belonging. Now, remember what belonging is. Belonging comes from a sense of personal value based on your involvement in a social system that finds you indispensable. You are indispensable 
to the whole. It's not, we're not all here unless you're there too.